Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would show you how I am cleaning my makeup sponges with this Style Pro Squeeze. So I feel like a lot of people have seen the device and it's from Style Pro where you can clean your makeup brushes and it will spin it. Well, they've now come out with a device that will help you clean your makeup sponges because I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but there is a crazy amount of beauty blenders in landfills and they don't break down so if you can't get them clean enough i understand why you want to throw them out but equally you can use a device like this and truly get them clean enough the other thing that i find a bit challenging as well when i clean a beauty blender is often it's very easy to not get all the moisture out of the beauty blender and then you go to use it on your face and you're like this reeks so let's use this guy. I've watched quite a few demos on it and I actually saw the brand at a beauty expo event uh, in London a couple weeks ago. Well, a couple months ago, if I'm honest with you. So yeah, let's try and use this guy and clean this brush. I think I have, or this uh, beauty blender. I have another beauty blender I need to track down as well. I may as well do both at the same time. Introducing the Style Pro Squeeze. It's obviously going to help you clean your beauty sponges within seconds, and in this kit, it comes with 85 mils of a sponge cleanser, and obviously, this is going to help reduce what goes into the landfill. It's quick, it's easy to use, which let's test that out here, and it works with all makeup sponges, so it's not like you can only use it with certain makeup sponges, which is obviously a plus. Renew and revive your makeup sponge with a cleansing loving style pro squeeze soak your dirty makeup sponge in a healthy dash of style pro sparkle and hot water use the press to knead out makeup and break out provoking impurities from within the sponge and scoop up into the cradle to squeeze then attach our pebble device to spin your sponge to its former glory 300 million sponges are sent to a landfill each year so you are helping the planet and reducing your waste by being a part of the squeeze revolution. Bounce back with seamless blending and contouring in a matter of seconds. Okay, so I've got the solution and the hot water in here as you would have just seen. And then I'm gonna press this button here and then that's gonna release that bit. And then I can go and I can get the beauty blender in between that and then I believe I just push the button and push down and then you're gonna like just do that multiple times from what I remember and then push the button push down I'm gonna try the other one. It is so grimy. And then push down. And then I'm just gonna do that a couple more times. So the instructions say to fill it to basically right here. I've gone a little bit higher than that, but basically that amount. And then it also says that you should massage the uh, sponges like first before, before putting it inside the press. I don't think that it's gonna hinder anything that I didn't do that first, but it's just to like really work that cleanser that is in that you put into the water into the beauty blender. So as I said I earlier in the video, I went on like a masterclass with the brand and then I also saw them at a beauty event, but that was a couple months ago now, so I couldn't fully remember what order to do what. But as you can see, the water is getting pretty grimy. So after you've done that a few times, I think it's safe to... Uh, put it back into the device and see if we can squeeze out any more of the makeup. 
If you want more support, you might want to open the handle like this, and then it kind of allows you to push down on it a bit more. And then you're just working the cleanser into the Beauty Blender a bit more. What would have been really nice if they had a silicone mat to go along with it? So maybe if you have a silicone mat for your straighteners, that would help keep it in, in place a little bit more because I'm trying to hold the bowl, but because of the hot water, it is quite warm. And when I say quite warm, I mean quite hot. <laughs> right. So it's been in there for more than 60 seconds. Let's try squeezing the Beauty Blender out. So let's squeeze. Let's hold it again to see. So there's still some makeup on it, but that just might be a stain. Let's look at the other one. I think this one, which is my newer beauty blender, it looks like it's almost all out. So let's squeeze it. pretty clean okay so now this is where it gets fun so this is the pebble and then you're gonna attach the pebble to the top of this bit right here just like this and then you put the beauty blender back in to like this bit here and then you press this button and it's gonna spin it so and that should get out the last bit of water which for me is the part that I, I've never really struggled to get my beauty blenders clean, but I struggle to get it dry. And then who wants to use like a product on your face that stinks? I'm struggling to get it back in. Right, so let's push it down. Like that, and let's let it spin. I'm so afraid it's gonna draw. I think I turned it off. If it drops in the water, this is gonna have like makeup water go everywhere. I think it's already gotten on the wall behind. Okay, let's stop. And then, how do I do it? I gotta press the button. That's lifting it up. And there we are. So let's do it with this one. It's a lot easier to get in when there's not two balls, two uh, makeup sponges in the, in the case. Oh yeah, that's still bringing off so much makeup. And we'll just spin it. And I think that's good. Kind of takes forever to stop. There we are. And then let's take it out. Oh yeah, that's a lot better than it was. I still think I could continue cleaning, but I also think that that might be a stain. All right, so what do I think? If I'm being completely honest with you, 
I think that if you are a makeup artist and you are using a lot of these beauty blender sponges, then I think that it will be worth going through all of that for you, if that makes sense. I am not someone who uses a lot of beauty blenders. I primarily use makeup brushes, so I think the Style Pro that uses the makeup brushes is probably something that I would get a lot more use out of as opposed to the beauty blender sponges. Now with that being said, are these sponges basically bone dry? Yes, they are. Do I think that they're really clean? Yes, I do. Do I think that it's gonna get rid of stains like this? Mm, I think it depends on how long that stain has been in there. But I do think that it's a good product. I just don't know if it's something that I can see me needing as an absolute necessity because I live in a place where I don't have a lot of storage space and do I need another device to take up space when I don't use a lot of beauty blenders. Does that make sense? So if you use a lot of beauty blenders, then I definitely think it's worth the investment. If you don't, maybe go for the brush cleaning device instead. Let me know, are you a beauty blender type of person or are you a makeup brush type of person or are you the wild card type of person who uses your fingers? I wanna know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.